What is up guys, Lighty Taz is shorting here again with another video, and right now, we're inside the new level 90 event dungeon uh, for the pirate event. So, um, this event says that you um, are recommended to have burst skills, so there's actually a good reason for that, and I'll explain that later. So for now, let's just talk about the boss. Okay, so as we can see, he's weak against Blunt, Holy, and Darkness. So that's the reason why I'm using Holy and Darkness against him. So uh, at first it kind of feels strange fighting against him because his fight patterns are very tricky. I mean, he is the same uh, boss from the dungeon in the floor, uh, in the 12th floor, but it's kind of different. So he has this sort of big AOE skill thing um, that covers a lot of the area. Um, you have two choices to evade that. You can either wait outside uh, outside of the area of attack uh, and you have to like wait for a bit more after the animation because earlier when I was recording the event uh, coverage um, I had a, a lot of trouble fighting against him because he yeah you see this this AOE right here okay so you have to wait until the animation is gone before you can even go inside and see <laughs> perfect example Okay, so yeah, you have to wait a bit more after the animation is done so that you can safely attack him. The other tactic that I tried earlier when I recorded the event coverage, uh, which I also have a video of, is I tried to use a burst skill, which worked pretty well. I mean, I had a lot of trouble dodging that AOE before because I didn't know the timing of it. But when I tried using the burst skill before he activated the AOE, it was enough time for me to be immune to his attack. So I think that's the reason why. There's also another reason why they say that this dungeon, I mean this event, is um, recommended for burst skills. Because um, burst skills are an iframe also. Besides giving you a ton of attack, I mean a ton of damage boost, they are also an iframe. And you're invincible while you're doing it so it actually makes a lot of sense because the AOE takes a lot of time to activate and I think it's enough time if you have your skills ready but since I don't have it ready I'm just gonna dodge it um, if you have your skills ready um, to like prepare for your burst skill then I think that AOE charge thing I mean the, before he does that AOE already have your burst skill ready so there's that okay so also one thing you can notice is I'm not using a blunt weapon and that's because I don't have holy and darkness for a blunt weapon yeah and I just decided maybe I should just use like a sword against him because I can like lower his defense and I can boost my defense while doing it and it's not that bad I mean yeah, the damage is not that bad when you're using a different weapon with with the elemental weaknesses of the boss okay so we're doing great um, this is the fastest run I have done so far I mean we're still under like five minutes and we're almost done um, earlier it was like 10 minutes, it took me like 10 minutes to defeat him because that wasn't a quick party. So another great idea, which is also kind of obvious, uh, if, you're, if you're doing this event, you should do it with your guildmates and also like make a party manually because our party right now is comprised of two of my guildmates and some people that joined in the party recruit. So, that's also a great way to find a great party against him because um, another issue while fighting against this boss is if you have a low level party it's not going to be as efficient so there's that okay so as I've said earlier like this video is actually the second video I did today um, the first video that I did was the event coverage which, uh, which will come out like um, maybe a few hours after this or a day after this I don't know if I have time uh, but since this is easier to like edit and update, I mean edit and upload rather, um, 
I'll just, you know, put this out first so that you guys have an idea how to, like, maneuver against this boss. I mean, you probably know it already, so I don't know why I'm explaining all this, but maybe some of you guys out there are, like, you know, having a hard, try hard time fighting this boss. And my guildmates actually said that this boss was broken. Um, yeah, the first few runs I did, he was kind of broken, so I have it also on tape that his AoE attack was kind of delayed, so I think he was kind of broken at first. Um, but then again, it's always like that with SAOIF, bugs and all in the first like few minutes of the update, or a few hours of the update. Anyway guys, there's that. We've officially finished the, um, the dungeon in about, I forgot the time. What did it say? Um, hold on. Okay, so we finished it in 5 minutes and 54 seconds, so it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that fast also. I mean, it's decent. You could go faster if you have, like, uh, a higher level party, and yeah, there's that. Okay, so, um, okay, we got a record. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on the past video that I did was this. Okay, so when you go here, you can see that the pirate medals that you get, um, actually give you uh, title records so bounty hunter so I'm gonna collect that <laughs> okay so I guess that's it for today um, if you have any more questions just comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video lighting tattoo out